So that leaves today's mission. Um, we have a cracked side window. We've had it since we bought the boat. Um, we ran out of time in Lupron to fix it. We have a spare window, um, but now we have to get one off of the boat so we can get the new one on. Hi, we are Erica and Davey, an adventurous, slightly crazy couple who has taken on the challenge that is a hurricane damaged catamaran. We have come so far. Subscribe to our channel to follow our journey. Take a chance. You never know how perfect something may turn out to be. So Davy's made a stack. You want to show the window there close before you peel it off? <laughs> so this window at the moment has actually been, we've been protecting it from leaking by a bit of gaffer tape. And uh, we also put on some, what do you call it, tinting film? Yeah. Um, because at this end here, this is all completely broken. So mission one is to remove this thing. I'm trying to show you how bad the actual port light is. Let's see if we can get this off with one hand. Yeah. Well, that doesn't really matter anyway because it might actually hold it together, but there's a big hole in the window here. Plus it had loosened up a little bit. So yeah, I can actually even pull it away from the boat with one finger. So <laughs> let's get that off, get a new one in. Say new, it's not actually new. These are ones that we recovered from the donor boat in the Dominican. We have a broken window. It's been it's broken the whole time. We've just been stopping water coming through. <laughs> I got a hammer. <laughs> what was that? Did you nearly fall off? I said, ooh. <laughs> Flip. There was a little knife here. I think it ended up on the floor on your side. I'll check. The most pathetic little knife. Yeah, it's not very good. Wait. What are you doing with the hammer? Put your hammer away. We don't need. We don't need the hammer, babe. Please. We don't need the hammer. <laughs> I just want to help. No, you just want to play with the damn hammer. <laughs> So Davey got the window off. You want to show it there? <laughs> yeah. Got it fully prepped, guys. So, wait a minute, I'm going to pass this to Erica. All right, so I got it fully prepped. I got the tape here so that when the window goes on, obviously the cork in, which is Seeker Flex 295 UV, I believe. Um, I've got the little piece of weather strip which stops that from pushing onto the inside of the window and the tape around the outside. So we fill up this area here with the Seeker Flex, but it has to have a primer first. This one. Now there is the issue, because now it's Saturday afternoon, I'm ready to put the window in, and apparently this primer is terrible. If you leave it for three years, two years. open, sorry, two years open, just on the side in the warmth, apparently it all dries up, it's no good anymore. So we obviously need a new one. So we can't get any more of that because it's Saturday afternoon. But unfortunately, we are expecting a bit of rain, um, probably tonight, tomorrow morning. So I think we're gonna have to tape this up. Stores closed that, that sells that product. So we're gonna tape this area up. It's fully, fully ready to go. So we'll have to crack on with that Monday morning. Hopefully this plastic will stop any rain from coming in. Hopefully it just doesn't rain that much. Fingers crossed. It's sealed up. Yeah, it was supposed to be a whole window installation in one day, but unfortunately, I did I did forget it was a Saturday. I should have got to the store earlier or checked my product. So I kind of blame myself. But anyway, as a temporary window, just to get us going over the weekend, that should keep the rain out. And uh, I'm sure Erica's got something else for me to do anyway. All right, that's it. I always have things for him to do. All right, cool. But anyway, that's a good job. That's a good prep. I'm happy with that. Yeah. I wish we had another piece of bloody rubber rail. Alrighty, so we are back to doing the uh, the port lights, the windows on the starboard hull. I say windows, there's only one. Um, this was the replacement that we had, we showed it to you before. Um, I've, I've done a nice clean up on it and we've used the correct primer. Uh, Seekerflex primer is the one you have to use on the perspex side but not on the hull side. Um, this is purely for when you want to glue something to perspex. Um, also, Seekerflex 
295 UV. This is the same product that Total Boat actually sent us when we were in um, the Dominican Luperan. Republic in Luperan. They sent us the primer and the glue for all of the, the cabin windows. So thanks again for doing that back then. That was fantastic because we couldn't find that in, um, in the Dominican at all. And I've actually just had a little bit of a heart attack because I had to order more of the primer. We had one glue left over for that window that we saved for it. But the primer, obviously it went bad because we opened it, what, two years ago, two and a half years ago, whatever it was. We did keep it on board, but we didn't keep it refrigerated and there wasn't much left anyway. And when I opened it, it was dead. So we had to buy another one. Leave your comments, right? How much you think this little can cost? <laughs> You'll be surprised. So it goes on nice and easy and the primer makes it so that the glue can it's stick. It's like an etching primer. So it makes sure the glue will stick to um, Perspex. Perspex obviously is extremely smooth. Um, so for anything to get a grip to it, probably would have worked well enough by just sanding it, but I didn't want to take the chance. They do highly recommend it for use with Perspex. But I'm not surprised at that price. That must be a good little profit margin. Um, anyway, window's gonna be in. We're not gonna have to worry about it. And uh, yeah, we can just get this job done and dusted. Taking this couple of days to get it, but we're ready to roll. So I think as we left you the last time, JV had secured the window from the outside. He has since taken that plastic covering off. We didn't get as much rain as we thought we were going to. Um, so it's actually pretty good but it was prepared in case we had that massive rainstorm that was supposed to come through. So it'll look so much better. When that window's on, it'll look just like that one. So we did test the Sikaflex, it is still good. 100%, this is good. Nicely. <laughs> tester, tester. Tester, tester, we use this rag to keep us nice and clean. All right. So babe, we've got a little bit of a plan going on here. I'm gonna go up on the pallet, gonna put the Seeker Flex on, then I'm gonna actually ask you to come back and pass me the window. Okay. Um, and then afterwards, I'm, once I've got the window in place, you're gonna come running back, you're gonna grab the screwdriver and these two little screws. These are just a positioning screws to hold it in while it dries. Once they're done, we'll remove them and we'll squirt more Seeker Flex back in the small holes okay. just to seal those up. I'll make squeeze the seat flex out. It's still a little bit golden from being in the fridge. I'll take the window. Can you go get the screwdriver? Yeah. I'll wait for you to come back. Okay, cool. Thank you. Alright, you ready? Yeah. Oh, mate. <laughs> Keep hold of the screwdriver for a minute. Over into screws. What? I'll take both. Just pop one in my mouth. I'm just trying to not make a mess. Do you remember the last lot of corking that I did in yeah. the kitchen? <laughs> it was a right mess. Yeah, and cut the short jokes. I know I needed another pallet. So he's just putting one more layer around the top edge just because rain. <laughs> and just to make sure it's secured enough. We don't want this one falling out. Um, that'd be a bugger. We do have one more spare one that we're going to keep a hold of just in case, but hopefully we don't need it. That looks so much better. 
Good job, Eric. I must say that job's been on the honey to-do list for a very, very long time. But Erica kept asking me to do it when we were in the Bahamas. We didn't have time in there. Uh, well, it's hard to we do didn't it get in the water. It's very hard to do in the water. To do this from a dinghy would have just probably just made a hell of a mess. So I'm glad we waited, but yeah, it's done finally. The list is definitely getting smaller, but as you saw, we just did that window. So change window, go on. What did you find? Oh, I found another dodgy window. Oh no. This one doesn't have cracks though. No, the window itself doesn't have any cracks, but the seal along the top, you see here, I see that I put silicon on it at some point. And I thought that was just because all the black seeker flex was uh, running down and giving like tears from the windows. But it wasn't, it obviously was leaking on the inside, but it must've been a long time ago. And you can see all the glue's come undone. So, gonna have to try and get this little bugger out. And that ain't easy. Oh yeah, it's completely come away. At the top, yeah. Your little knife working. Yeah. It is actually. It's the corners that are the nightmare because they got the biggest dollop of glue on them. The rest of it, once you, you get a run. Well, and it's just coming off so easily. That means it wasn't really stuck very well, right? Yeah. Oh dear, another hole, another in, the hole boat. in the boat. All right, so we did find that second dodgy window um, and we have actually decided not to put it in just yet. And the reason for that is we are gonna be painting and fairing and fixing the sides of the boats. Um, so it is actually easier to paint, prime, paint uh, the sides of the boats without the window there, because it's one less thing we have to tape around. So once the sides of the boat are finished, We'll stick this window back on because that was quite an easy process. So stick with us. And we have some really exciting stuff coming up in some of our future episodes, guys. The hard top is going to be coming off soon. It's going to be exciting.